that you do. Well, we're out here trying to save 3,500 babies a day in America. We've got to do something about it. Do more. Thank you, ma'am. Hey, can I give you one? We're out here trying to exhort people to action about um, saving our preborn babies. 3,500 a day are being murdered in America. Since 1971, it's been 61 million. So we're out here trying to exhort our good neighbor here at this church to do more about it. I know that this church does a lot of pro-life work. It has, has a, has a uh, facility over here and different things. But when we go to the abortion facilities, there's nobody there from this church. If this church got fired up enough to get 1,000 people over there, that place would close down. We could end this today if we wanted to. That's why we're saying, that's why we're out here going to our good neighbor to try and help us do something about it. Yeah, we're just trying to do more. And I ask, I mean, everybody can say that they're pro-life, but if, but if you don't, Satan is completely happy with somebody to say that they're pro-life as long as they don't do anything about it. See where I'm coming from? Yeah. And that's exactly what's happening in America today. The churches are apathetic and they're not doing anything about it. So you're just out here trying to, to encourage. encourage you're trying to encourage to action. Dad, yes, we're exactly. making a playpen for the dogs. Okay. <laughs> Fine. Somebody brought their dogs along, I guess. <laughs> Yeah. That. Well, thank That's you, cool. man. When, we came, when I came by earlier, yeah. I was like, oh, man, we got pro-life, like, pro-life protesters. No, oh, no, pro, no. Pro sorry, no, absolutely. Pro -choice, pro -choice, I don't think sorry. they'd be showing this because no, they saying. don't want to like, show this because this is exactly what the, I mean, this, we have to show this because, I mean, people don't even believe it. Don't even, can't even believe it. They, they, some people don't even believe the Holocaust exists. I'm sure he loves being alive, and I know my people <laughs> love being alive. Amen. It took us five years to get this one. Uh, the doctor said we couldn't have children, and God, God blessed us with him and, and our daughter right there. And then one more came after that seven years later. I was also I had, <laughs> No, I had cancer, and they said that I could never have children. So after that, God was good. He blessed us five years after I had cancer. He came along. What, what, what uh, church do you go to? I go to Mosaic Church in Arlington. But then we all go to different churches, different assemblies. Okay. So we, we, we're with the abolitionist group here in Dallas, okay. and the abolitionist group is all over America. But so we, what's your stance on birth control? Birth control? As long as birth control, I mean, co contraceptives, I believe some, most contraceptives, what they do is they destroy the baby inside the womb. Um, 